Earlier this year, the federal government put in restrictions when it comes to lending practices and limiting the number of second home and investment loans that any particular lender could do in a calendar year. And what does that mean? So essentially the government put a cap of 7% of the total portfolio of loans that any particular lender does on an annual basis. So if they if they do obviously 100 loans a year, the maximum number any particular lender could do for a second home or a vacation home was seven of them. So 7%, which that immediately, when that came out this past spring, the interest rates, mortgage interest rates for second homes and investment properties jumped up right away. And what's the reason why? It was because of supply and demand. Demand has been very strong for second homes and investment properties. But if there's only a limited number of, of um, loans that these lenders could do, they're gonna price it higher because there's so much demand, people are willing to pay it. So great news had just come out here in the past week, and that is that the government has decided to remove those restrictions. So there's no longer the 7% cap. So if you have a lender who um, is a specialist when it comes to vacation homes and investment properties, they can take 100% of all the loans that they have on an annual basis um, that they're going to give out to specialize in investment properties and vacation homes. This is great news, um, especially in our marketplace here um, at the Maryland and Delaware beaches where so much, so many of our properties are vacation homes, um, followed very closely by investment properties.